Hi, in this video we are going to solve two simple problems based on probability and these two problems are based on tossing the coins. The first problem is already there on the screen. The problem statement says when two unbiased coins are tossed, what is the probability that both show head? So what is the formula of probability? Probability of any event E happening is actually equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes right and this set of total number of outcomes is also called sample space and it is usually represented as s right it is nothing but the set of all the possible outcomes of the experiment right so in this case we have two coins and when we toss the two coins there are possibilities that you get head on first and a head on second the second possibility is you get head on first and tails on second, right? And the third possibility can be you get a tail on the first and head on the second, right? And the fourth possibility can be you get a tail on the first and a tail on the second. This set where we have listed all the possibilities is actually called sample space or represented as S. So how many total possibilities are there? That means the cardinal number of this set is actually equal to 4. 4 is the total possible outcomes, right? And how many favorable outcomes do we have? Since we want both heads, both show heads, there is only one favorable outcome, right? So the P of E or the probability of you getting both heads is actually equal to 1 which is the number of favorable outcome divided by the number of total possible outcomes which is nothing but the cardinality or the cardinal number of the sample space which is 4 over here. So the probability of you getting both heads is actually 1 by 4 or you can write it as 0.25. Right. So this is one question for which we have found the solution. What we have done? First, we have found the sample space, which is a set of all possible outcomes. And out of that, we have found how many favorable outcomes do we have. And then we calculated the probability, which is number of favorable outcome divided by the number of all possible outcomes. And now we are taking one more problem, again related to coins only. So this is our second question. The statement says, three coins are tossed. Find the probability of getting at least two heads. So let's first list down all the possibilities which can occur when we toss three coins, right? So when I toss first coin, I can get either heads or tails. And when I toss the second coin over here, again, I can get a head or a tail, right? And here also, again, I can get a head or tail. So when I toss first coin, I can get head. When I get head and if I toss the second coin, again, I can get the head or tails. And same thing will happen when I get tails when I toss the first coin. So these will be the four possible outcomes if I toss two coins. And now if I toss the third coin, again, I can get either head or tail. So these are the all possible eight outcomes. So our solution space will be first we have all heads. So H, H, H. Then we will have two heads and one tail, right? And then we will have head on the first coin, tail on the second coin and head on the third coin, right? Or head on the first coin tail on the second coin and tail on the second coin which will be this head on the first coin tail on the second coin and tail on the coin right and the fifth possibility will be tail on the first coin head on the second coin and head on the third coin so this will be t h h and then we will have tail on the first coin head on the second coin and tail on the third coin and then we have tail on the first coin, tail on the second coin, head on the third coin, tail on the first coin, tail on the second coin, and tail on the third coin, right? This tail on the first coin, tail on the second coin, and tail on the 
third coin. So these are the total eight possible outcomes when we throw three coins at the same time, right? And what do we want to find? We want to find the probability of getting at least two heads. So let me underline all the events where we have at least two heads. So here we have three heads. Yes, it is more than two heads, so it will be counted. Here we have two heads. Here we have two heads. Here we have only one head. This has two heads. And after that we have either one head or no heads, right? So the total events where we have at least two heads are four. So the probability of getting at least two heads is equal to four by eight. Four is the total number of favorable outcomes. Eight is the number of all the possible outcomes, right? So if we solve this, Four ones are four, four twos are eight. So this is one by two or 0 0.5. And here if I change the question and in place of this at least two, I make it at least one head. Then how will you solve it? Then this sample space will remain same, but the number of favorable outcomes will change. And now we will have this, 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 this and this. There are seven favorable outcomes where we have at least one head. So probability of you getting at least one head will actually be equal to seven out of eight. In the seven outcomes out of eight, you are getting at least one head. So this will be the probability of you getting at least one head. So the probability is all about counting or calculating the, all the possible outcomes properly and then finding out or identifying the favorable outcomes as per the problem, right? So these are two simple problems I have taken and after this we will be learning some slightly complicated problems and then we will be learning few more concepts related to probability. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.